All right, we're going to open this package that was sent to me that they asked me to do a review on this product. So we're going to go ahead and open up the uh, box. See what we got here. All right, we got from Fifine Technology. Nineteen feet of cable. That should be interesting. Got a little card here. With your website and all on it. All right, let's see. We got a nice little bag. Well, a good size bag. And we got uh, user's guidebook. Got their Facebook uh, page listed there. Contact information. A little description of the item itself. About the cable, microphone, kind of plugged on and off. The on and off switch here. The microphone itself, the cable, what kind of end it has and everything. Just uh, a little demonstration there of how to put it into the microphone itself, put the cable to it. Little instructions. A little bit of uh, the use of the item itself. Get your amp and plug it in, turn it on. This is the specs of the microphone itself, as you can see there. The sensitivity of the microphone. That's uh, it's going to be a real sensitive microphone since it is at 600 ohms. That's going to be a very sensitive microphone. And looks like the graphic here of the Hertz pretty much a uh, thousand and up. Looks like it picks up well because pretty much human voice is basically anything from a thousand and up and it looks like it's going to be very sensitive which I thought it would be since the ohms and all on it for voice and it's going to probably have the way this graphic is it's probably going to have a good for voice but it's going to have a low tone to it so for uh, males that has a low voice it's going to sound real nice and crisp clear but at the same time it's going to be sensitive because of the hertz that it picks up in this area so by this graphic here that's what it's telling me so we're going to find out when we actually get this thing plugged in so let's see what we actually have in the good old bag I feel like a cable in here 20 foot cable now I like I like this part here now most cables will have already made for example like my laptop actually has it made in one piece It's very stiff right there it's not much give this here actually supports with that spring I mean that's a physically a spring right there that helps that support and this is actually open you can actually open it so if you ever have any problems or need to change it for anything you can actually do it because you can actually open it up and take that solder off of there and put a new end on it, a different kind of end on it if needed that's nice nice well built 
nice and strong. That's actually, this is rubber here, but this feels like metal. Yeah, that's metal there. And instead of rubber band or anything like that, or, or a twist tie, they actually got Velcro, so it can be reused, and it's actually attached to the cable, which is nice. So that is a real nice way to have it right there. Repairable, or you can change the end on it. Nice and metal. Velcro instead of a bread tie is what I, what I like to call them. So that's good. Ooh, this sucker's nice and heavy. That's not plastic. Nice and smooth. On and off switch. It's actually, you can actually open it up a little tight. It's got a screw there. Most of them are sealed that you can't do nothing with. One thing I found is when you take the cord and actually put it in here, the cable actually still wiggles. So let's see if that actually happens, which I don't think it will because it's since you put metal into metal, most of the time it stays pretty solid. Let's see, that goes right there like, okay, that's in there. No, it does not wiggle off. And you see the rubber part is moving, but the metal part is solid in there. There's no play in that at all. That's nice. So when you're up on stage and moving it and all, you won't have that crackling and all popping when it's making connection, lose connection. So that's nice. Metal to metal, that's nice. We got this here, the wind, the windbreaker here that knocks down noise if you're actually outside. And I'll say also it works like a uh, soft uh, pop filter, so that helps. And as I read online, it's supposed to have some kind of a filter also built in here, which this is metal. This is all metal. Can't tell if that. That might be a plastic ring there on the end, right here. I mean, it's a nice microphone. And supposed to be a filter behind this part here, pretty much like one of these actually built into it. So we're gonna find that out. If it'll let me actually get in here. Yeah, there we go. There she is right there. Yep. So it's got one built into it. That's nice. So that really protects as well. So you can actually use it with, as you can see. So it, it's going to muffle the wind. Even without this on it. So that's nice. So if you're really in a windy area, that's metal. I like that, but you could really crank down on it and tighten that thing up. And that's a rubber ring right there. That's nice. So that's, so since that actually has a wind filter on it, and you put this on it, and of course you can get different color ones and stuff like that and put on it, but that's real nice. Real hefty, heavy microphone. And I do believe the way the spec says on there, it's gonna give a nice clear sound for voice, but at the same time, it's gonna give a nice, rich, low tone of the voice. It's gonna really bring out that nice uh, tone of the voice. So we're gonna put this on the system and see how it sounds. So let's give it a shot of the audio quality of this. Okay, let's, uh, let's get this thing into the system. Like I said, it's nice cable. 
nice uh, hefty plug there with a nice spring to protect the wires. Nice metal here. Got the Velcro on it instead of a zip tie or any kind of uh, bread tie or anything like that. So it's, it'll stay there for a while. But let's get this onto here and see what kind of tone of audio we get. But we will have to change this part, this, to actually get it to hold this as such. Let's see. Actually, I'm going to have to change that around this way. So it'll be just like this. So let's get this one off of here and get this. Okay, I got my good old cable, metal cable. I love metal. And this one just like this. I love it. All right, let's see if we can get this off of here. drop off of here should be getting there shortly there we go and let's see this will go well I'm gonna have to take this out take this little reducer out of here because this one stays on here I got to take that off of there come on come on got to get it off of there all right got that loose Unscrew that. All right, it should be the same threads as that one. All the ones I've dealt with is the same. Let's get it started. There we go. That should be enough. Get this plugged in. That's clipped in there nicely. Let's see what kind of tone we have actually on this. I'm going to have to switch the audio from my clip on to this and see what kind of different tone we get actually on here. So let me get that done. All right, let me adjust the input of this so it will not be clipping and be overdriving the sound card in the computer itself. So let me stop talking and actually tone this out. Okay, now only thing I did was adjust the input from here to the mixer so it won't be overdriving the amp or the preamp. So when I'm not talking, it's not picking up anything. I'm not using any kind of enhancement to increase or decrease the low, mids, or highs on the mixer. I got it dead zero. Only thing I had to adjust is the gain input from the microphone itself because this one actually has a battery in it. So it actually has a little boost. This one does not. So I had to turn it up a little bit. Other than that, that's it. So we see how the tone actually sounds on this microphone and how sensitive really is because I can see the bar going in the same location as this one was since I actually turned it up. Now, rather it's gonna have any kind of hissing sound while I'm talking or not, which I highly doubt it because the specs that I saw actually on the paperwork itself indicate to me that it should not. But like I said earlier, um, you can actually use different color um, covers here 
this one is not wise to use right now because this is actually green but uh, you can't see that because um, I got a green screen so green screen is working real well uh, so yeah that's green if you look around the edge you can see it to a point but you can change different colors now I do like this one here this microphone because it has the filter actually built into it even without the wind filter sleeve actually put on it so we actually hear the tone actually on it now I'm going to turn up the highs to the max so let's see what the difference is of dead zero to the max actually enhancing the highs see if it actually will pick it up the book says it will so here we go this is zero now we're on the max now let me put it back to zero now I'm going to do the same thing with mids it's on zero now I'm going to turn it to max now the mid is on max I'm going to turn it back to zero now everything is dead zero no positive nor negative enhancement of either one now I'm going to go to the low tone and see how sensitive it is there and according to the Hertz frequency that my EQ actually on the mixer is uh, according to the microphone specs this should make a difference you should hear a good significant difference because the tone it that it uses is in range of the microphone sensitivity so here is the low tone of the microphone itself now I have everything back zero so as you can see actually here the difference of the tones low mid and high and this is just a very plain simple mixer it don't have all the different graphic bands it's just a low mids and highs and that's it and because if you got a good microphone that's all you're going to need to actually get a nice crisp sound out of it because pretty much the microphone's going to do you know 80 percent of the work and it might need to be tweaked out a little bit and depends on who's actually using the microphone because if they have a real high voice you might want to turn it down to have a real low voice you might want to kind of kill it and bring it in some highs to bring out the nice clear voice or somebody has a high voice and you want to kind of quieten down a little bit and instead of having it squeaky or whatever three settings is enough to be able to get that done when you have a good microphone like this one and this one so this is the demonstration of this microphone and it works real well and I see that the tone the only thing difference really between that one and this one that I had to adjust is the input gain of the microphone plug into the mixer and the only reason is that because it does not have a battery built in to boost the signal going out so I actually have to boost it on the mixer itself but the lows and mids and highs or any frequency is not getting changed it's the same setting that I had on that microphone so I may just use this microphone if I like the tone of it after I make this video and listen to it if I like the tone I just may leave this one up here and use it and put that one in storage or put it away in my box with all the other good uh, electronics that I have just to use it as a backup this one's um, a little bit shorter it really it, um, not giving me much more benefit from having that one because I'm always in front of the microphone itself and I'm not outside so the wind is not gonna make an issue on either one of them I can take this off and take the filter off on the inside and take the filter off of this one 
and it really won't make no difference because I'm not in the wind. But it may be sensitive enough, which according to the specs, it probably will be if I take everything off. And if I turn the ceiling fan on, it probably will have some kind of noise in the recording itself. But uh, see here if I can. I uh, don't have any way to actually. Nope. I don't have no way to actually demonstrate any heavy wind. But the ceiling fan is on, but it's not on high, so that's not going to really make a difference. But with the filter itself and the filter inside, I see no issue of it having a issue with the wind blowing or anything like that unless you're out there 30 40 mile an hour winds but with double filters it might not even have an issue then i think this one would have less issue in high philosophy of uh winds than this one would this one i think it would actually have more issues because it's only one and it's not really thick as you can see the wall on that is not really thick so I think this one would create more issues of picking up the wind than this one because this one has that double filter on it. And like I said, I don't know the tone because I haven't listened to it, but I'm going to listen to it after. And if it's good enough, you will see this microphone stay where it's at. And if you like the sound and the tones of this microphone, look in the description, the show notes, and there's a link to it on Amazon. It is affiliate link. So if you purchase it, the channel here will get a small little portion of it. It will not cost you any more, but it will help out the channel. So we can actually do more reviews on more equipment. Now this one we didn't have to worry about because this is just one of the companies that actually sent us the microphone to try out, which there's other stuff that I've tried out as well that people have sent me to try out. But uh, I like to buy some equipment. If I see something that may work out for this channel uh, in one way or the other to make better content, I may purchase it myself and do a demonstration. So that's the uh, where the revenue, whatever you want to call it, um, them little portions here and there where pur purchases that are made here through this channel that's what it helps out you know nobody makes anything off of it except my viewers they get a nice review of products so they will know what the product sounds like or how good quality it is or how it is because I'm not gonna be swayed one way or the other if it works I'm going to give it a thumbs up. If it don't, I'm going to tell you it does not work and it's not going to be worth it. Because if I'm not feel comfortable with it using the item, I'm not going to try to say it's a good item and get somebody to buy it and use it. Because that's going to give a bad impression of my reputation of saying good or bad on a product. So if you want honest opinion and demonstration on products this is the channel to watch so thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video take care